advice. Dear Bill, I've got a few shitty things going on in my life right now that I need to vent about. Also, I would like to hear your advice. Okay, you guys don't need to have fucking intros like that. Just ask me the advice because then I'll read them and sound like a shithead. First things first, I live in South Carolina, and I think you can guess that that pretty much blows. (laughs) (laughs) I'm 22 years old, and I just graduated from college with a degree in psychology. My job outlook is pretty bleak right now, and I just got laid off from my shitty delivery job. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on in this country? This dude has a degree in psychology, and he's delivering fucking Entenmann's cakes to supermarkets. And he gets laid off. Um, He goes, I must have applied for at least 30 jobs at this point, and I've stopped applying for the ones that I'm underqualified for. Uh, And I've started, sorry. And I'm still unemployed. I don't understand why the access of entry into the restaurant industry is so fucking high. I can't even get a job serving because they keep telling me we only hire people with two years of experience. Yeah. Well, it's the law. It's the laws of supply and demand. Uh, You know, if if we weren't in the middle of a recession, you could walk in there with the coming out of prison, and they'd let you work the goddamn mesquite grill. Um. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I worked in a restaurant. There's a bunch of fucking drug guys. We, it was such a good economy. It was like 1987. Wait a second. That was right after Black Monday. I don't know. Maybe it was the South. I have no idea. I worked at this place called the Sable Cafe in Cary, North Carolina, way back in the day. And uh, we used to have this douche who used to he came in. He was on work release. He was in prison, and they would let him out so he could wash dishes and work his way back. Not wash dishes. He actually worked the fucking cooking line. He was right. above me. Right. I was a busboy slash grill chef slash dishwasher because the restaurant was slowly going out of business. And as, slash hottie. As, uh, oh, <laughs> as, as people, as people gradu- gradually quit, they would fucking uh, – they would just give me their jobs and yeah. an extra 50 cents an hour. And I was like, whoa, I'm raking in the dough. Because I sucked at math, I didn't realize that they were paying me three fifty an hour and a grill guy five dollars an hour. So they went from paying eight fifty an hour for two guys to paying me four dollars an hour for fuck. I'm a dumb, fucking moron. So, anyways, and then this douche used to come in, and I remember one time I came walking in the back and I'm doing three fucking jobs. We were slammed, and I said, "Oh my god!" I go, "We're out of glasses." What the fuck? We're out of glasses. And then this guy in work release goes, "Well, why don't you wash some?" Ah. A novel idea. <laughs> That's what he said. Like he was this fucking renaissance man. Really? Really there, Shawshank? What the fuck are you doing after work? Huh? Fucking carving a goddamn... Hey, watch all the steak knives. Make sure Cunty over here doesn't take them back with your felon beard. <laughs> you this stupid fucking Almond Brothers facial hair. I fucking cunt. And it still bugs me because I didn't say anything to him. Because I got intimidated. Even though I thought I could take the guy. But I was like, this guy's been in prison. You know, he's going to beat me up and then rape me. Fuck it. I think I'll wash some glasses. <laughs> so anyways, um, he goes, if I can struggle through four years of school, then I think I can get the hang of slinging tater skins and onion rings in a few weeks. What is what is there to learn? Uh, oh, this guy's trying to get a cooking job. Well, a dude, cooking what, job or a serving job? Well, I thought he meant like being a waiter, but now it sounds like he's yeah. talking about actually cooking. Yeah, dude, you can't learn on the job at a restaurant. No, you Oh, was, was that underdone? I'm sorry. They're not coming. Really? Oh, he's, oh, no, but he's talking about cooking. He's not Because I thought he said he was having a hard time getting a job as a server. Because that you can learn in like two seconds. No, that's what, that's what he said. But now all of a sudden he's talking about slinging tater skins and onion rings. I think he just means serving it. Slinging? Doesn't slinging mean... Uh, yeah, but wasn't didn't he say earlier that oh, he was geez, trying to get a job as a... I've been on the podcast for three a, minutes. You're already disagreeing with me. So thought, fucking... Didn't it say earlier that he was trying to get a job Shh. serving? What is there to learning... Let me get back to this. What is there to learn in the second year of restaurant experience that you can't get in the first year or even the first six months? This I agree with. How in the hell am I supposed to get a job? I'm also being cut out from financial support of my family who helped put me through school. If I can't start paying bills, then I'm going to have to move back in with my parents in a shitty small town that is about an hour away from the city I live in. Job outlook there is even worse, and I would hate to move away from my friends and girlfriend. Me and my girl don't live together, but she's offered a lot of needed support, and most importantly, she supports me pursuing comedy. It's my dream to become a comedian and I can only go so far while I live in South Carolina. That's um, true. No, it isn't. 
That he can only go so far living in South Carolina as yeah, a comedian? Yeah, the fuck? Oh, you become the next goddamn cable guy. Dude, there's people This I guarantee you in South Carolina, there's a guy there who's the king of South Carolina, and we've never heard of him. Every state but I've been to. But there? Yeah, right. and they fucking make six figures a year. I'm not, I understand what he's saying. Obviously, he doesn't want to be the king of South Carolina. He wants to get into movies and TVs, become a nationally headlining act. I understand what you're saying, but I'm just saying you can make fucking money there. There is money to be made with those drug uh, fucking idiots there. All you got to do, just do a Ric Flair impression. That'll be your closing bit. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, I would. Uh, he lives out there. I would like to move to New York City, but won't be able to do that if I'm not able to save up money. And I definitely won't be able to do that anytime soon because I am awaiting a trial for a DUI I got back this story in January. Just keeps getting like m- unraveled yeah. more and more. Every sentence becomes a something else. That's why country songs are so sad. These people live it. Living in South Carolina. I love my girl's vagina. And I can't get a job washing dishes. Did you just rhyme Carolina I got a with DUI. vagina? And I don't know why. Because the cop was even drunker than me. And the song should be called I Know I'm Not Ric Flair. Because I know... I ain't Ric Flair, and I know I don't bleach my hair, but I got a dream, and would you help me? Get your hand off your gun, I'm starting to get scared. That ran with hair? All right, go fuck yourselves. Um, anyways, <laughs> the trial is this September, oh my God. and if I lose my license, I will only be set further back from my goals. Yeah, you think? I am trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, I'm growing weed in my apartment. It's a one-bedroom with bay windows, and I think my neighbors are starting to catch on. Uh, I am trying to hone my skills Did he here. Did say that? No. Oh. Jesus. Somebody went out late last night. I'm trying I to hone tired. my skills here, but I can't afford uh, to keep driving to open mics that are at, at least an hour away across the state in North Carolina. By the way, I've stopped drinking irresponsibly, and I'm sorry that this email ran a little long. Respectfully, so and so. Gotta love how the politeness of the I know. South. At least he's a respectful. Yeah, he probably has one of those plantation Kentucky Fried Chicken ties on, holding onto his lapels. That's a four score and seven years old. Yeah, that's how they. Uh, that's how they get you with the politeness. Down they get there. you with the politeness, and then they, they do. S- that's the. Uh, that's the. You know, as someone who grew up in the South, I know. Yeah, that's you they know what that's that called. Whole that's Southern called Southern hospitality, yeah. but it's masking so so much. Yeah, so you know much. what that is? That's called the old. Uh, that's called the old Stonewall Jackson. The old what? The old Stonewall Jackson. You come in. Hey, I surely would like to help you. <laughs> Don't you look pretty today? <laughs> Wait, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, <laughs> right? And then you fucking turn the corner. Let me tell you, you something sound- about that boy. <laughs> that boy'd fuck a rock if he thought a snake was under it. <laughs> <laughs> So what is what is he asking advice He's about? He's asking me how the fuck he gets out of uh, all this bad shit. All right, you live in South Carolina. Let, let's let's recap, shall we? Yeah, lives in South <laughs> just, Carolina. Lives in South Carolina. Can't get a job slinging fucking tater tots to fucking fatties who are wearing overalls and somehow the crack of their ass is still hanging out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he got a DUI. He's yeah. going to have to move back home with his parents an hour away where the job shit is even worse than it is where he is right now. And he got, he, oh, Jesus Christ. And he wants to live his dream. I mean, I, I only see one solution here other than hitting the lottery. You got to start dealing weed. I mean, yeah. Right? He's in South Carolina. Can he grow some tobacco? Yeah. Or didn't he say something about being a psychology major or something? Aren't you supposed to do some sort of internship at a, a place no, he after you do he, school, and he that's doesn't have how you time for that. get he, entry into a job. He doesn't want to do that. This guy wants to be a comedian. So what he, he wants needs, to be a star. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what he needs, he needs some sort of hustle to get him out of this shit. All right, dude. This I'll, this will make you feel better. Guess what happened to me right before I became a stand up comedian? I lost my license for drinking and driving. Yeah. This is what you got to do, dude. You got to uh, you got to get through your DUI. Um, and I don't know what to tell you, man. You got to somehow try and find a fucking job. Ah, fuck. I lived at home with my parents. I had a day job and then I, and I did comedy at night and I saved every fucking dime. Mm -hmm. I drove a piece of shit car and when it died, rather than get a new one, 
I I just had him throw a new engine in my old one. So I only went like 1500 in debt rather than 15 grand. That's what I did. So listen, if you want to be a fucking comedian, you want it bad enough, you're going to figure out how to do it. You're in a hell of a situation there. You got to get a fucking job. Dude, I would open I take any fucking job you can take landscaping, anything you can do. Um get through this fucking DUI horseshit. And uh, despite the fact that you work all day, you still got to go out and you still have to uh, do those open mics. You got to do it. And uh, as hard as it's going to be, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you tough. And that's what you got to be to make it in the world. You got to be tough. You got to get up. You know what? You've been knocked on your ass. You're flat on the back, flat on your back, and you got to get up. All right? The ref's over you right now. Six, seven. Most people just lay there. Ah, I'm going to go fucking lay between my mom's titties and just say I quit in life. You're not going to do that, are you? You're going to pick yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look she just gave me. Yeah, I'm trying to inspire him. This kid is in a fucking hole. Yeah, but he can get out of it. How yeah, would, he's got to suck it up. How would you get like out you of said. it? How would you get out of it? I would do like you said. I'd have to take any job that I could get. But I'm a Sub-text. female, so maybe I could get... No, I was thinking babysitting, you pervert you'd whore yourself out no i wouldn't wah, 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 wah. <laughs> my name is nia boo 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 and i got some high heels do 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 who wants to no. fucking hit this i no. wanna be a comedian 